Kim Hyora admits to extorting money from schoolmates but continues to deny violence and bullying. Kim Hyora, the Korean actress involved in a recent school violence controversy, has indirectly admitted to taking money from her fellow schoolmates despite previous firm denials of such an act. In an interview with the Dispatch dated September 11, the heated discussion concerning her school-related controversies unfolded. Kim Hyora, known for her riveting performance in The Glory, shed light on her past actions and expressed embarrassment. She shared the background of being cast in The Glory, and shared, It's difficult to admit, but I realized that people can oppress and harass others to unimaginable extents. I never thought about it since I was never in the place of being Moon dong -un. I think I also justified my actions by thinking, this extent isn't enough to be seen as a bully. During her time at Sangji Girls Middle School in Wanju, Kangwon Province, rumors circulated that the actress was part of the Iljin, bullying, group, Big Sangji, notorious for activities including extortion, assault, and verbal abuse. Responding to these allegations in the candid interview, she sternly denied involvement in any major incidents, including the Jeans incident, the alleged Dickies Pants extortion, and the controversial arcade assault. However, Kim Hyora unveiled a grayer side of her past by confessing, although I was a part of I Big Sangji, I did not uphold impeccable character during that time. I cannot guarantee that I might not have played a role in these unsavory activities. When questioned about claims made by an individual claiming to be a fellow student from Sangji Middle School, who accused Kim of extracting money from them, she partially admitted her involvement, confessing, I did play a role in collecting money for older peers. Kim Hyora elaborated, admitting that she was an accomplice in extorting money, I agree that my friends in Big Sanji took money from other students, it was a significant amount. I also contributed considerably. For instance, if the older girls would request, is 100,000 Korean KRW doable, we who were younger would, go to younger peers, and tell them, okay, let's split it 50 to 50. Since the victims were a grade lower than us, it facilitated such issues. Addressing her shortcomings, she stated, I am not denying my mistakes. I wasn't a model student, and there were moments when I justified questionable actions. Due to my distinctive name, I could never be just an ordinary student. I was either the target of envy, risked being ostracized, or chose to attract attention. I chose the latter, a decision I deeply regret. Responding to the controversy, Kim Hyora's agency, Graham Entertainment, expressed deep regret on September 11 in an official statement, which read, We are deeply disappointed with certain media channels treating the allegations of the accuser regarding Kim Hyora as validated facts, hinting at potential legal repercussions.